Joni Greggins, and welcome to 12 Minutes to a Firm Fanny. Now, before we begin, here's a few things you should do. You should have comfortable clothing on. That's very important when you exercise. You should have a good surface to exercise on. I have advanced aerobic spring flooring. If you don't have this, maybe you have a mat or something to cushion the body at all times when you exercise. If you haven't seen a physician for at least a year, please see them before you begin this or any other kind of exercise program. Now, the old gluteus maximus is one of the hardest muscles to get firm. It requires exercise and proper diet. Now, after you've been doing the exercise we're going to do in just a minute, you might want to add weights because once you know the exercise, you've been doing it for a few months, you're going to get results. To get even more results, you might want to add a pound and a half to two pound weights. But that's after you know the exercises and after you've been doing them for a while. I'm going to give you the famous Mr. Bill. Thank you. Now, if you've been, uh, you know, warming up a little bit by moving in place, that's fine. Otherwise, we're going to start with the first exercise right now, which is a squat. The legs are apart, hands are behind the head, chin is up, you come down and press it up. Now the legs are apart here because you're working on the gluteal, the old fanny. When we bring the legs close together and do a squat, we're working on the front of the legs of the quadriceps. Now, you don't have to bring the rear end all the way down to the ground. The main thing is to keep the back flat so that when I'm coming forward, I'm sort of leaning slightly forward back is flat. Only do what you can. Do not bounce off the heels. Take your time. If this is too difficult for you, just come down to here and press it up. You almost want to squeeze the back of the leg and the fan. Again, do it where it feels comfortable for you. Do the best you can. Keep going. forward. Keep going. Two more. This is one. Last time. And two. Now our series for the wheels are going to be in a jackknife position. If this is not comfortable, you can always bring it down to your knees. Otherwise, bring the leg up and down. And lift. We're starting with the left leg. So press it down. Foot is flexed, it's coming past the ankle. Working the gluteals in the back of the thigh. You're in control. You don't want to throw that leg. Keep going. And breathe. Head is down. Eyes slightly looking forward. Don't let your neck drop too much because it puts a stress on the cervical vertebrae of the neck. And breathe. Lift it down. And down. You don't move too quickly. Two more. This is a one and two. Now the leg comes up, in, out, and down. Bring it up, in, out. Foot is flexed. Working the back of the legs and the gluteals. Again. Bring it down. Now up to tempo. Bring it down. Up, out. Out. Up, in, out. Slow it down. And down. Again. You want to press on every move. Keep going. Every movement is sharp. Come on, you can do it. Oh! Again. Don't drop that neck. Two more. This is one. Last time. Now, donkey kick. Bring it in. And out. Bring it out. And in. Out. Again. Eyes slightly forward. Heel is flexed towards the gluteals. Working the gluteals in the back of the thigh. Killers, keep going and press. Now, 
up through 10, where you can go in, and in, and in. Short it for a minute. Two more. This is one, and two. Keep the leg, press it out. Press and press. Foot is flexed. Press it out. Back of the thigh and gluteals. Press it out. Pull in through the abdominals. Press and press. It's important to flex the foot. Keep pressing. And press. Keep going. Come on. Eyes are forward. Don't drop that neck. And press. You can slightly bend the supporting leg. You find it getting too tense. Try not to lean too far to the right in doing these. Keep going. Press. Two more. A oh, one, two. Bring the legs together. Permitted. Down all the way. Okay, head is up. Take this leg and press. Now you can point the toe or flex the foot. It's up to you. And point or flex or combine them. Main thing is that they are small lips and reaching out and left. One leg over the other. If you want to, bring yourself up a little higher. We're reaching out. Support that body. Working the back of the leg and the gluteal. And lift. Yes, this is a killer, we know. Keep going. Head forward. Again. Keep lifting. Whoa. Two more. This is one. And two. Now, other side. Oh. Same thing. Right leg crosses. Again, you really can't lift that leg up too high. So you really don't want to incorporate your back. Just the gluteals in the back of the leg. If you're using weights, you would bring it down and up. And down and up. A little slower. So you have resistance. And down and lift. Up the tempo. Lifting. Do your best. Again. And press. Yes, these gluteus are really going to work. Let me tell you, these are 12 minutes of effective exercise. And that's what you want. Keep going. And lift. And lift. Two more. This is one. And two. Release your back. your feet together. Take your time for a minute. Bring your hands in the jackknife position and the other leg comes up and down. Foot is flexed. Behind the left foot this time, the right foot is working. Don't throw that leg. It doesn't have to come up too high. If you throw it too high, you break the release and you're really not working the back of the leg or the gluteus anymore. So not too high. Eyes forward. Keep breathing. Pull into the abdominals. Again. Foot is flexed. Come on. Two more. One. And two. Now leg comes up. Bring it in. Out. Down. Up. Everything precise. Again, notice that the leg stays out straight. Doesn't throw itself up because you don't want to put a stress on the lower back. Pull into the abdominals and down and up again. In, out, again. In and out. It's down and up again. You can speed this up a little bit if you want to, but it's really not necessary. Keep going. Down and up. Press in. 
out, it's in, out, it's down, and up. Two more. One. Last time. Out. Now donkey kicks. Bring it in and out. In. Foot is flexed. Use the back of the legs. And the gluteals. Oh! And in. And in. Keep going. Pull into the abdominals. You can do it. And press. Again. Press. And press. Up to temple is in. 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 And in. And in. Keep going. It's a shorter movement. Now slow it down. And in. And out. In and out. Oh, two more. This is two. Now press it out. Press. Press. Be sure this hip is closed. Left hip is closed. As you press out with that right leg. And press. Looking slightly forward with the eyes, but not up. No strain on the cervical vertebra. Come on, you're home. Thank goodness. I mean, you have to have wonderful gluteals after all this. Keep going. Press and press. Press. And press it out. Press. Press. Slightly bend the supporting leg if you feel any pain at all in that leg. Give it a break. Keep going. Press. Press. Okay, two more, that's one, and two. All right, release it by just coming down. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Oh my goodness. Keep going, press it through. Six, a seven, and eight, back to the squat. Take it down, and lift. A little faster here. Again, when you come down, press that pelvis forward. Head is up. Press down. And down. I know, it feels good to be up here. Huh? Oh. Head is up. Chin is out. Down. Really. Down. Press forward with the pelvis. Squeeze the gluteal. It's down. And down. And down. And down. Two more. That's one. And two. And release it for a minute. Stretch way up. Woo! Cool down, take a breath. All right. Just lean to the left. That is an amazing workout. You have to admit, even it's killing me, right? But you really get results. The gluteals are the largest muscle in your body. And through proper diet and proper exercise, you can get those guys firm. They don't have to head south. But you want to do this program at least five times a week and cool down for a good three to four minutes when you're through. So we're gonna keep pulling down here. Keep going. And again, remember, give it another three minutes or so. Keep stretching. Now, a perfect way to end your workout after you're through stretching is to take a hot tub or a warm bath. Either one of these will help you relax, and also prevent muscle soreness. And you can do it all in just about 10 minutes.